Hey, boys and girls. All right, uh, this episode, I'm going to teach you about digestion. Okay, so they say that food is no more inside you than a pencil is inside a donut when it is poked through the hole. So, hmm, what are they saying? So, I have a marker and I have some tape. So there's like the pencil and the donut, or it's like food and you. So the food goes in and it comes out. Oh. So instead of the food going in you, food goes through you. Okay, but all the energy you get to live and grow comes from your food. So that's why we got to eat right. All the chemicals that become your body and brain as you get bigger come from your food. So you are what you eat. Okay, you get these vital chemicals through a process called digestion. Your body breaks food down and grabs all the nutrients you need from it. Then your body gets rid of what's left over. Digestion starts in your mouth. Okay, uh, you're, you begin uh, breaking food down by breaking it into pieces with your teeth. Okay, and your jaw muscles, like that. So you break down the food with your teeth and jaw muscles. Your saliva, or your spit, okay, is full of chemicals that react with the chemicals in food and make them break apart. Uh, sort of like I remember when I was a kid, I loved just putting uh, bread in my mouth and just let it, the saliva soak up with it. And, and if you do that, say for a minute, and then you spit the bread out, it doesn't look like bread anymore. It's like goo. Okay. <clears throat> okay, but normally we don't spit food out. So you after you chew it and the saliva reacts with it, we swallow it. Okay. And your food goes down a tube, your esophagus, okay, to your stomach, okay, where powerful hydrochloric acid breaks it apart further into a mushy mash we call chyme. From there, the chyme goes through your intestines, and that's where your body starts to absorb the nutrients you need. Eating is complicated. For your body to have energy to do work, your digestive system has to do some work. So take care of it. Eat the right foods to help everything out. And then you'll have energy to play. Okay, now we'll go over that. Uh, oops. Oops. Let's see. Uh, the big idea. So what did I want you to remember from this lesson? Uh, one. Our bodies need different chemicals to keep to keep running. Okay, so you can't eat always hot Cheetos. You shouldn't eat very many of those anyways. Uh, you need to eat different types of foods. Okay, like you got protein, breads, fruit, and vegetables. Okay. Uh, we get these chemicals from our food. That was two. And three, we grind our food up. We absorb the chemicals we need and then get rid of the waste that's left over. Okay, that's what digestion is. All right, some did you know trivia. Let's see, and these are things you can ask your parents or check and see if they knew because these are pretty bizarre things. Your stomach acid is so strong, strong okay, that you grow a new stomach lining every three days. So every three days, it's almost like you're getting a new stomach. Okay, it's not that you never don't have a stomach. It's just that your body is continually remaking the lining, okay, because the acid is dissolving it along with your food. Okay, so every three days you have a brand new stomach. And uh, let's see, next thing is you can eat standing on your head, you know, doing a headstand, okay, because your esophagus pushes the food into your stomach, even uphill. Now, I've never tried it, but maybe you can. Uh, without your stomach, you couldn't store food for digestion. You'd have to eat continuously all day and all night. You wouldn't even be able to sleep. You'd have to be eating food. Okay. 
Your body makes about one liter of saliva every day. Hmm, a liter of spit. How much is a liter? Well, this is only half a liter. So two of these every day of spit. Amazing. All right, so keep your digestive system working well so you'll have lots of energy. All right, we'll see you. Bye.